This is the introduction to how to use your circuit playground on code.org. The first thing you'll note is that I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm not doing this in Chrome. It doesn't work in Chrome on a Windows or a Mac machine. So instead, you need to install this free maker app right here, and it'll have the code.org logo on it. If you're on a Chrome device, uh, you can just add the extension, and you'll find the link to that in the lessons. Now, once you get in here, what you ought to do is grab, uh, click on this gear, and that will test your board out and make sure everything's connected properly. It will run it through a series of checks and let you know that you're good to go. Once you do that, you can jump on ahead uh, into Unit 6 of Computer Science Discoveries and go through the lessons, or you can skip all that and go straight to Create. We're going to use App Lab to do that. You may have seen App Lab before in Unit 4 of Computer Science Discoveries, but what we're going to do here is something a little extra. So right on this little gear, you can go here and enable the Maker Toolkit. What we do is going to add two more sections, two more little colorful drawers here in our toolbox. The first new one you'll see is the Maker Toolbox. We'll take a peek at it. And we'll mess with that a little bit later. And then what we're going to play with now is this circuit toolbox. So the first thing I'm going to grab is an LED on. I'll hit run and you can see the effect there. Okay, so a quick word about orientation. If you're holding your board in the right direction, then this uh, plug will be at the top, which doesn't seem like it would matter, but when you get into coding your uh, left and your right buttons everything will be backwards if you're holding it the wrong way so this block led on refers to this red led right here so let's try something else let's try led blink we'll have to reset and run again so you can tell that that's working notice that uh, blink and pulse both have this interval in there you can put a number inside of it um, these are milliseconds so 1000 of them equal one second so let's put a thousand in there just for comparison you can see that seems nice and slow that's like a one mississippi all right let's take that one off and then let's try pulse really quick and then maybe we'll try 500, which would be half of a second. Okay, so that's a pulse that sort of grows and shrinks. All right, there's one more block I want to show here. And uh, well, actually, let's combine this with something a little older. So let's take this off and let's grab, let's go to design mode and just grab a button. And uh, we can give it the ID of light button, and uh, we'll just have it say light on it. And I don't really care for this default color, so we'll pick, and that looks okay. And none of this stuff matters, so I'm not sure why I'm spending so much time on it. Okay, so we've got a light button. Now in our code, we can grab a yellow on event block and choose the light button. Now, whenever the light button is clicked, we can make our red light. Uh, we could do come on uh, just like that. That will work. But then let me try that again so it's slower so you can see it. Notice it's not on when I run the program, but then when I click the button, it does come on. But then you would need a separate button for light on, light off. So instead what we can do is use the toggle and that turns this into sort of a light switch. So notice the first time I click, it comes on and stays on. And then the next time I click the same button, it's gonna go off, which is kind of cool. The other way you could do this is you could leave it at on and say when the mouse is over it, the light comes on. And then we could copy it 
and say that's the shower and the mouse goes out the light goes off so now um, nothing's happening but if my mouse goes inside of that it comes on and if my mouse goes out of this space it goes off so that's just the basics of how to use the LED, this uh, little red guy right here.